thanks for calling Warzone's gallery. We were unable to answer the phone right now, but please leave a message at the b- <sighs> I'm leaving. I've got to go. This whole summer I've been so fucking restless. And I just can't take it anymore. I've got to go out and see the world like that guy did in The Alchemist. Like since I was young, I've always wanted to travel and have an adventure. And it's basically now or never for me. Like this whole summer, I've just been sitting on my bed, being like, shit, I've got to go. Fuck. And I've just been consuming media. But it's... Like I have some things that I want to say because I feel like they're pretty important. Like this is basically me right now. It's gratifying in a sickly sweet way to identify as a victim or someone helpless because then you don't have to take responsibility for failing to get what you want. It's not your fault, you couldn't do it anyway. Eventually the exist existential nausea overpowers that feeling though and either kill yourself or start making some changes. And another one by Terence McKenna. We have to stop consuming our culture, we have to create culture. And that's so true. Because all I do is consume culture, like, I'm on Netflix watching these C-dramas and K-dramas like Meteor Gardens, and I'm on YouTube watching these people live the life that I want to live, and I'm on Instagram looking at these hot people, and I want to be them. That's why I follow them, because I want their life, that I want to be them. And I sort of use that material and imagery to construct my own sort of false reality where I'm living that life in my head when at night and I go to bed and I sleep and I create this fantasy of me living my dream life. But it's not real, like I need to start making some changes because I can't keep sitting here with my depression and my eating disorders, you know. Like I, I need to make changes in my life, otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die anyway. I might as well actually die having lived.